session which starts at 12 o'clock. Um, my name's Penny Sweetser or Kibas, whichever. Um, and we've got three presentations in this session. So the first one is about juggling in VR and um, I'll hand over to Jindrik Edolf. Okay, so hello everybody. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Cedric Adolf and today I will show you our research, our application about juggling in virtual reality and about the advantages of immersive virtual reality in juggling learning. So the content of the presentation, so I will talk about what juggling is and motivation why we want to juggle and why we want to juggle in VR. Then I will talk about the application while and juggle. Then about the study, we, we, did, <coughs> we did about the juggling and the results of the study and the limitations, we have some problem and yes, the application is some problem, so I will talk about it and about the future work, what we can improve and so on. So at the beginning, I can show you, I, I bring a boss with me, so you can see the juggling is something like this, so I, I'm sure everybody Everybody knows it. <laughs> so the definition is continuously toss into the air and catch a number of objects, usually balls. So keep at least one in the air while handling the others. So it's, it's a definition. So uh, the motivation why to juggle. Uh, some research find out that juggling can improve your, <coughs> your brain and some part of brain and cognitive abilities and also special special you know the, uh, how to say it, the abilities to, to do it and the problem is it's not it's not easy to, to learn the juggle because usually it takes some time and if you try it you will find out that the balls just fall down and it's really demotivating to, to learn it. So it's usually it's good to use some met methods to, to slow it down. So uh, in VR, there is advantages. Advantage that we can change the gravity. So we can make the balls flying just slower and it's the, it's the idea of, of this application <coughs> and this research that you can just change the gravity and then you have more time to to focus on which hand should be throwing and which hand should be catching and you can realize what exactly should be the next step. Okay, so the application use, it's Planet Juggle, it's created by Benjamin Outran, which is one of the co author of this paper, so we were working together on it. And this application, it was released few days ago because of this conference so if you would be interested at the end I will show you the link so you can download it and you can run it on Oculus Rift or Quest. So there is the teaser for the application so it's plan juggle is juggling simulation allowing you to learn from one to nine balls. Juggle basically reduce gravity to make learning <coughs> easy. You can juggle on the moon, Pluto, Mars, Venus, Earth or Neptune. A drum beat helps you time to throw and catches, and each throw creates a beautiful sound so you can compose music while learning to juggle. So on the next slide, you can see how, how it looks like in the application. So you are in the space and you can look around so you can see the planets and you can change the planet where you are. So for example, this one is Neptune. So the gravity of the walls is like you would be on the Neptune. And you have the controls in your head and if you put the hands just under the under the ball, you can you can catch it. It will automatically do do the catch, so you don't have to press any buttons. And if you do fast movement up, the ball will release the, the circle you can see as as your hands, and this way you can juggle. <coughs> so some some points for for this application. So. Yes, the physics, you can, you can change the gravity, but also the balls don't fall on the down. So if, if you juggle and you will just miss something, the ball will just go back to, to his trajectory and you can just continue or you can watch the balls. Because if you will not 
interact with the boss, you can just watch it, watch the boss, and it, it will do the pattern just itself, and you can watch what is the pattern of, of the of the juggling, and you can learn just from the watching. You can observe it from different angles and so on. The there are some visual elements, so you can see the future path of the ball. So if you if you will throw it to the air, you can find out where it will fall down because there is the graphically see, see the the path. You can see it here. So you just this path. Yes, and also if you if you catch the ball, it, it will vibrate. So it's a haptic feedback. So you can find out if if the ball lands on your hand or not. And depends on the on the force, you will catch it at good moment. You can find out it, it will vibrate more. So it's it's the it's the feedback. There's also other elements. So there is the tempo. There is the music which is changing according to the tempo and the force of the balls. So it's it's next next element which can help you to, to be immersive in, in the in the VR. So we are just there is the application, so we are curious if this application can help people to transfer the knowledge from, from the virtuality to, to the normal juggling, because it's a huge topic in virtuality that the people would like to transfer the knowledge, so it's the problem. So it was the, one of the hypotheses, and hypothesis we define like this, so the VR environment can increase motivation to learn juggling. Juggling in VR can be a suitable tool for learning juggling, and using the virtual environment can make learning juggling more fun than learning by instructional video. Yes, it was our hypothesis. So, in Prague, we have con contemporary circus. So, it's is the circus something like Circus Soleil, where the people juggling and do acrobats and things like that. So, we were discussing with them what exactly the study should look like, how, how they teach the people how, how to juggle, and they said the people are able to learn do the basic pattern, I can show you, it's this, one, two, three, in one hour. So if you will learn it and, and you have some instructor or some lecturer who will help you, you can learn it in, in one hour. So it was the base for our study, so we don't want to do at the beginning the long term study, so just try something short, so we create a one hour session for each, for each participant and then we were observing if he learned something or not. So it was between group study, so one group was juggling in VR and one was juggling just in normal, I will talk about it more. And yes, <coughs> we have to do the session with each, each participant separately, to, it's, it's clear. So we have the group of 30 people, 30 people. so 15 was juggling in VR and 15 just, just according to the, the video instructions. So we have female, 16 females, so it was almost half and half, the average age was 29. Okay. At the beginning of the study, we give them the questionnaire, we were asking how many experience they have with virtuality, if they do some sports, this kind of questions, and if, if they know how to juggle, and in case they know how to juggle, we just exclude them, and we were also asking for the people who who have zero experience or just a little bit with juggling to, to make it the same level for both group. At the end of, of their of their session, we evaluate them. Yes. So the VR group, they saw the instructional video, and then we showed them the application and explain them how can they juggle, and then they could choose if they will juggle in, in real or in virtuality, so it was up to them. So they tried in virtuality, then then tried in real. And we just measured the time they spent in VR for <coughs> for some correlations in future and time of the experiment. It's one thing I forgot to say. We say set the people to the to the participant that they can finish the experiment whenever they want. So they have up to one hour, but if they want to finish early it's up to them and think they can do it, and we will measure the also if they enjoy it based on the time of the experiment. Because if they don't like it, they will just finish earlier. Yes, the second group they saw the same video. It was just normal video, 
and then with the boss and they can practice it just in real and watch the video. So in the video there were some steps how to do it. So we will start with one ball, then you try with two balls and then you can add the third ball. And at the end you, you should be able to juggle with, with three balls. And here we measure the time of the experiment. Yes. At the end we give them the next question, how they enjoy it and some questions. And they we evaluate them how many tries they can do. So it's the basic pattern, it's one, two, three. And yes, they tried for ten times and how many of these were successful? It was our our number which you can say okay this participant can do it this this many times and this one different times. Yes, so it was the metrics we use because in just one hour we didn't find any better metrics. So observed variables so we were observed how many times they can do it this this basic patterns then the main questions question was how far they was juggling during the experiment if they enjoy it or not so they have to choose the scale from one, one to seven and ask then we ask them if they will continue the learning so they could answer yes or no or maybe so it was also Next question about the motivation for future. So for the evaluation, we use many witness tests for statistics because of because there was no normally distributed variables, and you can see some some results here. Uh, in in yellow, you can see the person who juggle in VR, the green one. You can see the people who juggle just without VR, and. Yes, the scale is 0 to 10. Then they, they were successful for all tries and 0 to 0. And unfortunately, you can see here that the people who juggle in, in real achieve better results than in VR. And yes, we discussed it in the paper, so probably it was because they didn't have too much time to practice it in real. I will discuss it later. So then we asked them if they will continue to learning. Uh, and now we can see the, the people who juggle in VR say, most commonly say that they, they would like to continue. And I also met some students who, who participate in this study and they buy some balls and try to learn juggle. So yes, it was the interesting result for us that the people in VR wants to, wants to continue more than the people who just tried with the balls. Yes, the next observe variables how fun was during the experiment because in, in studies you find out if, if somebody <coughs> enjoys some activity they are most commonly wants to wants to continue to learning so so the the motivation and, and fun during some learning anything it's really important so we suppose it was important also in in this research and we find out the people who, who enjoy it more in the, the people who juggle in virtual reality enjoy it and, and yes, more than people who just try recording the video because it wasn't too, too fun for them. So there is some data summary. So the statistics show the fun of the experiment. It, it was really it was really important and with, with good results. So you can see the the P. If we observe the juggling skill test, uh, it wasn't success statistically significant and the same for the willingness to continue what they tried. So it was a good idea to do the juggling but still there is a lot of limitations. So and one of this is haptic feedback because they, they can't catch the ball. They they just hold the controls. So it's different movement and it's not related to the muscle memory. So it's the limitation of the application. You would like to, to improve it. And the problem why the people achieve worse results than the people in, in real, it was because they said that for them it was bothering to switch from one environment to another. So he put the headset on his head, tried to juggle in VR, then just try it real, and, and just repeatedly switch from one to second environment. And they said it was it was bothering because they achieved good results in, in VR, but then they switch, and it was completely different. So, yes, it's also something 
what didn't improve the, the VR application is the same like real but for to understanding the basic patterns is they said it, it helps them so yes and the next limitations it's short time because it was just one hour and usually if somebody wants to learn something like that it takes many hours and they have to focus so we just want to show that the application can help in the process of learning so not substitute the learning in real we just want to find out if it will help the people in, in the process and for example we would like to to add the application to the, some school of, of circus or, or juggling and they can they can motivate the people how to start and then if they will try it in, in virtuality because if you will download it you, you can try it. it's 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 easy to do the basic pattern even if you are not able to do it in real so the future work we would like to improve the haptic feedback so i saw here one presentation about the muscle about the electro using stimulation electric electric stimulation of muscle so maybe it could be one way we also would like to create some some different controls or something like that and design some long-term study based on the things and double the information we get from from this application and from from this study yes so it's all from me so thank you for your attention and if, if you will be interested in the application you can take a picture of this or you, you can just find it in paper and you can download the application and you, you can try how it works and for example, send me some email how does it work for you and so on so that's it.